Zandvoort was a vast sea of orange last weekend, and Dutch F1 superstar Max Verstappen didn't disappoint. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our official home on unbeaten.com. Dutch circuit Zandvoort is orange through and through, with the partisan crowd demanding victory from its reigning Formula One world champion, who dominated there last year. But Red Bull and Max Verstappen needed all the luck in 2022, with the squad using cheap stops under the virtual and real safety car to set it up for success, with just 11 laps to go, via an easy pass on softer tyres for the lead on Mercedes' Sir Lewis Hamilton. The Dutchman came home for a career-first fourth straight win, his 30th overall and 10th for 2022, three away from the all-time wins in a season record held by Michael Schumacher and Sebastian Vettel. With a second straight world title now almost a foregone conclusion, a fact that didn't escape the packed Zandvoort grandstands. It's incredible to win again in front of this crowd. We've had unbelievable support here, and I'm proud to be Dutch, said Verstappen, who also set the fastest lap. George Russell may have secured his equal best ever result with second, care of a last minute cheap safety car stop for softs, but one that came at the cost of Hamilton, whom he failed to protect. Hamilton finished in fourth, behind Russell and Ferrari's Charles Leclerc, 13 seconds off the lead, his shot at the win seemingly destroyed on used mediums with no rear gunner. A tough call that infuriated Hamilton, no matter the logic, who lashed out on the radio, with talks needed to clear the air in the aftermath. I was just on the edge of breaking point with emotions and my apologies to the team because I don't even remember what I said over radio. I just lost it for a second, he said. The crisis continues at Ferrari with bad luck and bad calls haunting them. Leclerc finished in third, one place behind where he started, having pitted before the virtual safety car. Things were a lot worse for his teammate Carlos Sainz with a nightmare pit stop on lap 14. His mechanics not given enough time, meaning his left rear tire was late to go on. Followed by an unsafe release on his final stop for a five second time penalty, dropping him down to eighth at the flag. There was nothing else I could have done in that situation as I was trying to avoid hitting a McLaren mechanic in front of me, he said. Alpine has lost Oscar Piastri to McLaren, but the French squad continues to outscore its papaya rivals in the fight for fourth in the standings. Its two-time F1 world champion Fernando Alonso went from 13th on the grid to 6th, with his teammate Esteban Ocon also moving forward from 12th up to 9th, 10 points in total for the pair. Four more than rival McLaren, with sole scorer Lando Norris seventh, Daniel Ricciardo's last points earned in France. To the driver's standings, and Verstappen is storming towards that crown, with a 109-point advantage over Leclerc and just 164 available. Sergio Perez is level with Leclerc, Russell is 13 points adrift. Onto the constructors, and Red Bull is 135 points ahead of Ferrari, with the Scuderia not looking up to the challenge. Mercedes is just 30 behind and would love to usurp its great rival. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.